I just laid out for you all of the top guys that were considered to be ahead of J.J. McCarthy. Sure. I think I was being generous. You got Jordan Travis. You had Drake May. You had Caleb Williams. You had Michael Penix. You had who else Marvin Harrison. Name? Marvin Harrison Jr., who I gave his props and said that he should also be and up Bo there. Nicks. And Bo Nix, who I said has also been very consistent. Oh, you didn't say one name who had a bye week this week. Shador. Nah. 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 Uh, I just wanted uh, to throw that out there. Mm-mm. The second half against Colorado, even though the, the Colorado State, even though they, they won that game, the absolute collapse to Stanford, and I, I think they have some more losses coming. So, And then, than you know, it, it really wasn't his fault, but you would have liked to have seen him perform a little bit better against Oregon, even though that they lost. So I, I don't think that's a I don't think that's in the cards for him this year. I think he should win it and change the Heisman pose. No. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, as you look across the stage of everybody who's supposed to be ahead of him, and as, and according to Vegas, he has the fourth highest odds now. So Shador or JJ? JJ has the fourth highest. Fourth highest odds to win the Heisman now. Behind Penix, Penix, Knicks. I think. Is it Harrison Jr.? He may be ahead of him. I think he's ahead of Marvin Harrison Jr. Maybe. He I should think he's be. Another a, quarterback. As a quarterback at a Big Ten school, you should be ahead of a wide receiver. I think it's another quarterback. Is it still Caleb Williams? Caleb Williams just dropped. Oh, did we mention K Clubnick lost as well? Because yeah, there, there's a certain part platform out there that would take K Clubnick over JJ2. Yeah, I am not a part of that. Uh, but, anyways, yeah. I, I I just I think at least top two, at least top two. He's won every game he's played in dominating fashion, and he was the reason. What other what other Heisman candidate can say that this season? And I, I, that's just very simple. Without talking about any advanced metrics, any stats, anything like that, he has won every game that he's played this year, going away. And he's the, well, Bowling Green, but we still blew that team out. Of sure. The water. Um, speaking of K Club, Nick, Oregon State is six and one. Yeah. Oh yeah. So DJ Oregon State eating. DJ or K? DJ. That was an easy choice. That really was. One that Dabo couldn't make. While he's out here blaming his fans for criticizing him. Yo, we are watching the unraveling of Dabo Sweeney. Yes, we are. And I love it. We are watching the unraveling oh, of Dabo it. Sweeney. Cussing out the fans because they're not cheering for a losing team is nuts. <laughs> is nuts bro we eight weeks into the season y'all got three losses already i think they should be upset and this oh, is coming off the God. heels of you ranting and raving about the nil and and the transfer portal shit again how you're not going to do it okay all right i buddy. forgot oregon state beat utah that was yeah so a little, yeah, bit, they little are. fluky i don't know if they're going to get cam rising back this season utah. i don't either he seems pretty content being on the sideline i don't know if they're going to get him back is he going to come back for a seventh year in college football though is he medically redshirted? I mean, he would get one. He would have to get one. He hasn't played all season. That's nuts. That is crazy, right? COVID year, redshirt year, and then a medical redshirt. He could be here seven years. How old is he? 32? Uh, he's going to be 30 something by the time he graduates. <laughs> Shit. I mean, yeah, hold him out. He'll be the best, well, at least one of the best quarterbacks. Oh, my goodness. That'd be nuts, though. That'd be crazy. Let's wrap it up. Yeah, he'll be a Heisman hopeful next year on his seventh year. No, the fuck he won't. Why won't he? A seventh year. I guess Brandon Wheaton was in the Heisman conversation. He was literally 29 years old. Cam Rising will be 25 next year. Yo, it is insane that the Browns still drafted a, a quarterback that was older than any other player. Any other draftable player. Yep. And drafted him at 29 years old. That's crazy. That, like, insane, and he's still four years older than Cam Rising is, and he's getting ready to be on his seventh year. 